Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Winter Major. Calm the first one back. Colm's going to put it away. Boy, is he talking. Closing in and clamping down, but Torment going to poke oh, it free. Colm's going to put it on target, and version one in the lead. The back oh, line, man. and a huge miss, what? but a second time. <laughs> Beast Mode somehow scores it in 25 seconds of overtime. I took the corner, I took the corner, I'm full now. Right. I got, I got. You got it, yep. He's we ended up doing the third regional at the V1 facility, so shout out V1 for letting us do that. You guys are boot camping. You guys are together in a facility. How immaculate are the vibes going on this weekend? <laughs> Being here, all of us in person, oh, the guys have been super excited. Yeah, we're really looking forward to today. Beast mode, a nice little dribble underneath. Flip and reset. Flip reset. Scooped it up what? and put it right into the net. one nothing version one. Getting to play at the facility was great. I mean, I'd never done an actual boot camp for a tournament before, even though I've been competing for like five years. So it was a lot of fun and the energy was really good. And a big part of that was calm too. I didn't know he was going to be that loud. Go for it! Let's go! We're definitely planning on trying to boot camp for almost any event that we can, as long as Beast School allows it pretty much. Besides that, we're gonna try to do it as often as we can. But version one, starting out on the attack, and they get another goal to start the game. Calm delivers the strike. I think the boys thrived on feeding off of each other's energy in person. That was the first time all of us were together as a team. We even had like the fire alarm going off during the upper bracket finals. Yeah, I'll try to watch catch. You? Yeah, I got it. We definitely have a very strong mental, so I mean the fire alarm going off. Whatever it is, I think we can usually kind of power through it. A nice catch off the sidewall. Calm, flip, oh, reset, eight. available. Fix it out. That's it for Beast Mode! Oh, Brilliance my. from version one! Look at the communication from these teammates. It's flawless from V1. So we had to finish at least top three. I was very confident though, you know, being a, like around tournament and common fire, you know, the energy overall. Let's go, boy! Let's go! It's over, V1. They take the win. They win the mobile one. Mountain classic, unbelievable performance from all of them. And they did it with brute force. Just nothing but physical gameplay from these players. They absolutely crushed them. Winning the whole thing definitely felt amazing. I finished second about three times. It was always something I wanted to do, especially in Rocket League. So winning felt amazing. Ended up beating G2 in the upper bracket finals. Ended up beating NRG in the grand final. So being able to win in convincing fashion like that against all these good teams was amazing. When we got to LA, we had a couple days before the tournament started. So we headed over to the Santa Monica Pier, which is awesome. I've been to LA a couple times and I love coming here. The, the weather's great, the food's amazing. It's falling off the stick, coming off the bone, it's so tender. So Monday when we get here, we kind of had a day off. You know, took some photos, which all came out really good. We actually had some photos that were pretty cool, especially the one where we sat in the car. It's just awesome going out to eat with the boys, having a good time, and the team bonding I think really helps. I think we have like the hardest day one out of any team. We're playing FaZe and Queso in the same day in our group. Those teams are considered two of the best teams in the whole tournament coming into it for sure. I want you all to write down on a piece of paper who you think is going to win. Oh, wow. I'm the only one that drew cheese. Queso is okay. unstoppable. They're the only team I think that's been in, in the finals yeah. every single event from both the two major regions. So we knew if we were able to 2-0, we would definitely be able to win this group and put ourselves in a really good position for the rest of the tournament. We did a lot of odd review, a lot of replay review. Like if we see them on the backboard, we can't just bang it backward because every time they, they're able to catch it on the backboard, they're just going to air dribble it out and probably beat at least one of us. So that's, that's what we have to do every single time there. So first man, just make sure you're demoing, and second man has to slow it down to buy time for that. Oh, we got scored on there. We went through, we watched a bunch of replays from Phase and Case, so we tried to look at their play styles and try to adapt ours in such a way where we could counter them, open up opportunities that otherwise we wouldn't have, and uh, kind of punish their mistakes that we could be anticipating going into the match. Bang, bang, bang. Shot, grip that. One back for a bit. Musty. 
Musty. Musty. Musty. Oh! Sheesh. Maybe it's like this. Is. Competitive Rocket League right here. On the way to the venue for the first day, I was just telling the guys, we definitely practice more than them. We definitely are well prepared. We know what we have to do. All we have to do uh, on stage is execute our game plan. Yeah, you still can get a shot. Maybe I have no miss. Starting off with a good group stage, just is like massive. Like if you can win the group, guarantee playing at YouTube Theater in front of the crowd. And that's top six, which is already like a good placement, honestly, especially for our first land. So we were super intent on making sure we were ready as much as possible. We're going to start things off with a phase doubleheader versus version one, a regional matchup. Version one, they wanted to get here, Gibbs, and yeah. boy, howdy, they get thrown into the fire right away. It's going to be a good one. Phase is one of those teams where we know they have a high floor. They'll mm -hmm. always peak to top four, top three. Here yeah. comes AJ. He's got boost as he can't get back Ooh. down, but the shot snuck through from Sipical is saved. AJ's shot is saved by Torment, and version one once again push away phase off the goal line. Version one, that's another one over the back oh, line, and a huge miss. Whoa. But a second oh, touch! Oh, oh. Beast Mode somehow scores it in 25 seconds of overtime! This is why version 1 picked up this man. Even when he makes a mistake, what? he can make something out of it. It feels so nice like being out there, being able to show what I can do, and then I can, you know, high-five my teammates, I can hype everyone up, feels super nice. And look at the hype from Khan. That's the reason why he's in the middle of them. He's been talking, yapping like you said, Corelli. <laughs> we look over, we see the FaZe guys, they're super nervous, they're all sweating, they're not calming. It gave me that much more confidence, and it, it made me, uh, play a lot more comfortably on the pitch. That's why we're not seeing quality chances for FaZe Clan. It seems as though every time a ball gets pushed across the midfield, there's a version one oh. player ready, and Beast Mode himself, he's ready. You could tell something was off over for them. They were just hitting us the ball, and that was something that we'd actually talked about. Because on land, people just throw away the ball. They're gonna throw away the ball at times, but most of the time, they're just, whenever they do have time on the ball, they're just gonna solo play. Yeah. I think we really just capitalized on that, to be honest. I can't believe I'm saying this, Turtle, but Perfect sweep setup here for version one oh over phase. AJ to the sky, wants to play it over. First oh killer knows goodness. he's in trouble. Here Calm. comes Calm. Touch Ooh. towards the goal. Inversion one on the board first. The quick counterattack. They were buried on the defensive side, but then one read intercepting in the midfield. Version one trying to back pass to Calm, and it works out nicely to go down the field. Calm the first one back. Calm's going to put it away. Boy, is he talking. First killer. Now Sipical's got to keep it up. He does, but Beast nobody's mode. got boost. It's AJ good. first killer have nothing, and version one going to take the first series here on the main stage. I think we, we had a lot of prep work that went into this, and I think we had a, we had a solid game plan. We stuck to it, and it worked. That's what I like to see, bro. We see you screaming, man. Hope you, you keep that energy the entire way because the, the crowd's going to love that. Version 1, they've got the energy. However, this is much different, Corelli. This is not a North American matchup. This is international, baby. This is going to be a big match. Uh, a kickoff goal off the start for oh Queso. Well, it's going to come back for what version going one on? here. It didn't even let me talk as Beast Mode able to answer back. Yeah. Uh -oh, Torment's been so mode. good, and so is Beast Mode. Hello. Ceiling looking for a challenge. That's two people up for oh version shot. one. It's in. And an open net. Where is the follow-up from the defense of Queso? And he's stoic. How did Torment put that one in? No man's Another line. One. And then a fake from Joyo on his own teammate. You thought he was going to get the touch, but Tira. <laughs> What's going He's on? He's laughing at him. He's mocking him. And version one, game one goes over to them. We felt really confident, especially knowing that there was their first land. And they're all super young as well. That's where you know a lot of the trash talk came in. I know absolutely I was going to be able to get in those guys' heads and I'd be able to make them play much more nervously, much worse on the pitch. And they did not look like how they usually would, like in scrims. I think a large part of that was due to them being nervous and the trash talk and all of that. Okay, so threatening closing in and clamping down, but Torment gonna poke um, it free. It's Tom's gonna put it on target, and version one in the lead. It's almost like V1, they they want to give this yeah. space away. You saw there in the midfield. Oh, what a pass. Waiting for oh, the it's shot. it's open. They come back what on the counterattack, and it's lights out. Version one, up 2-0 in the series. Queso trying to get it going, but a big demo opens things up. Here comes Torment. Beastmode's gonna take it away. <laughs> down into the net. Version one, back on the board. The There's ball. so much space and time on this ball oh left for Beast Mode. The he last player under. you want Whoa! behind the ball. Don't give him what? any space, Corelli. They swept phase. They've 3-1 Queso in Group A. They're looking good here at the Winter Major. Is that a land format? That's Land Beast Mode. Land Beast Mode apparently too, yeah. 2-0 two oh, with the best player in the world on my team. I can't believe how many people sleep on this kid. That's crazy.
Yeah, no one's sleeping anymore. We yeah, did play how we wanted to. They think it's going to get downloaded, though. We literally said it, that it these like teams are going to play different and nervous, and so when we played well, them Well, we had, we had two different play styles set up, depending on how they were going to play. Oh, man. It's crazy, how bro. How did it feel? I felt great. I felt amazing. I'm just glad. Like, we got the two hardest teams out of the way, and we, we played good. We played how we wanted to play, we so. Good. We just, just super happy right now. When you would yell, we literally heard it clear as day and the whole chat heard and we're just reacting. We literally looked at each other, I'm like, oh. I think for version one, they've shut up a lot yeah. of haters here uh, and they've proven a lot of doubters wrong here today. So version one, 2-0 in group A, a sweep over FaZe, a 3-1 win over Queso. Let's go. Today, yeah, today's a big day. We play detonator. If we win, then we're three and zero for the groups, and then we're automatic top six. And we start in upper semis, and we automatically start playing at the YouTube theater. And we have two lives for that. If we win that upper semis, then we're top three, and that's really huge. So we're not gonna take them lightly. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're all really confident about today. What are you gonna do with these kids, bro? Sitting net. Sitting net. Sitting net. That's, that's my job, sitting in there. We're going to play the series like normal, but then if we get some chances, Com's going to throw the series to score a musty double tap. Yo, we got a whole watch party of people. You got to give them something to cheer about, dog. Yeah, there we go. Hey, what's up, everybody? Lola and Chrissy here at the watch party at Commonplace Brewery in downtown Los Angeles. We're just out here watching Rocket League matches, drinking some beer, making some friends. The best part is that this is for everybody. Whether you're one of our fans or if you're a fan of another team, you can come hang out with us. And then when we win, you can come celebrate and drink some beer with us. Sound good? Yeah. I know you've been crushing that. Sounds so. good to me. <laughs> But we gotta talk about the land buff. <laughs> that is a real thing. Whoever that screams is. louder is gonna win these games. Talk we saw them. it yesterday. Calm was popping off. They were so much fun to watch. They've got that land boy potential of Calm jumping up, shouting at the opposition that is just deadly. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna be doing everything, bro. I'm gonna be musty flare. I'm gonna be sealing fit. I'm gonna be racking up a 3.0 rating here. No more dilly dallying. Let's go ahead and get on into the match. Game one, version one versus detonator. Run out of the gates, nice kickoff there for Detonator. Really trying to slow it down, and no. Beast Mode's just gonna drill through everybody. Oh boy, out of your own half, a kickoff one-on-one. -on -one. Old picks his beat, crossbar down and in. Version one gonna convert on the kickoff. Heading into game two here. Detonator taking advantage, Calm gets a demo on the back line, and Torment gonna squeeze that one through. At the challenges, as that is a double oh. tap from Torment. Just able to squeeze it over the defender's head. And he is starting to feel that there is going to be a live crowd this weekend. We hope that we're going to see you there. But if you know anything about Rocket League, you know Torment shows up when it's time to play. Detonator's ah. right on the edge of giving themselves a lot of great opportunities on target. If those demos start connecting, who knows? Maybe they walk away with a game here. Try and make this one a series. Nice oh, nice. challenge. That's a good idea, but Beast Mode saw it coming, picked it off, and he's going to turn it in. Look for a flip reset. Finds it, but can't find the angle. But uh, Torment sure can. And version one up by two. To have someone push forward when they're trying their offensive push because no uh, way. No way. Calm just absolutely demolishes the back line. It was a pleasure to get to see them here in the major. A couple of brilliant games against some tough opposition, but currently at the moment, not a match for version one. 3-0 for Beast Mode, Torment, and Calm. And they've just been on a tear, and so it continues. Version one looking great. Version one just completely taking a stranglehold over group A, dominating through the group stages. Top six, let's go! Top six, baby. Top six, baby. I'm more excited well, yesterday. Yeah, we knew it was like, we kind of went in today like, I mean, we obviously we, wasn't yeah, 100%, like, but we kind of like we knew we had we should it. Be like, we knew we had yeah. it. We were confident. Top so. seven plays delivered by 7-Eleven. Number one, going to be Beast Mode. This man popped off Bates. I was excited. Did he oh, ever? Oh. Did he ever? He proved that he's arguably one of the best players in the world, if not the best player in the world. Stop being Johnny. I know you're on that long jet flight. I don't know how good the Wi-Fi was. Hopefully, you saw that play right there. <laughs> After we ended up beating Detonator 3-0, we ended up winning the group, obviously. That not only secured us top six for the tournament, but it also guaranteed us at least two matches in front of the crowd at the YouTube theater 
which uh, all the guys, including myself, were really excited about because, like I said, this is Beeson Com's first RLCS LAN ever. Tor hasn't had a LAN in two and a half years. So being able to play in front of the crowd for the first time in such a long time was super huge for the guys. I, I thought we would be like a lot further from the people, but it's pretty close, honestly. Like, it's not that far away, so. It was definitely a lot of relief, to be honest. My goal coming into this was I just want to play in front of the crowd, which is top eight. A lot of people had us going out first round lowers, to be honest, so it felt really nice just to like prove those people wrong and achieve that for ourselves as well. Let's go! Yes sir, excited, big day on stage. you all the action is of course Gazerin, Roll Disney, uh -huh. T-Base. We are here, day four of the Winter Major, the first time we're gonna have a crowd here. I'm excited. Two North American teams taking on each other in the upper bracket. V1 taking on Space Station who are looking to write the story from the Fall Major. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> good night, bro. Let's go! Let's go, little bros. Sir. Sure. The little bros take the stage. All right, Fire, you know we got to puff out the chest. Version 1 taking on Space Station Gaming here in the YouTube Theater. It's our first time on the stage. CJ, both these teams consider themselves the best in their region. Absolutely. I mean, V won the surprise packet. They won the last regional. They came in with thinking, where's the land performance going to come from? But Comp's bringing the energy as well. He set the tone for this major in the very first series. He's been unbelievable. The Comp's the trash talk, and we want to see it here. V1 Space Station. Yeah. Dude. Before the walkout, I was definitely a tiny bit nervous. We were playing in front of thousands of people. I didn't know like who they're going to cheer for, and it was definitely a crazy experience. And you can't do that. Beast mode to beast, and he shows you there. You give him space, he gets the flick. Right and that's going to go back to Kong. We just got this. Got this. The oh. 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 15 to go as Beast Mode clears, trying to hold on and prolong this series. Get to a fifth game at all costs. Beast Mode to kill it, Ooh. and we're going to game five. 1v1, Kong and Daniel. Look, there's the bump. Torment now has Beast Mode in the wing, but he takes the shot. Beast Mode puts it in. Version one, take the lead. Involved in the play, he'll circle oh, back. Oh, he's on! Got caught with their hand in the cookie jar. Game six on your screen. Version one, <laughs> refuse to give up. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. goodness! Come in a one v one, no contest, one nil. He's more Very quick. Oh, 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 the win! Oh, 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 I'm really proud of the boys with how they played it in that first series still. They, we went down 3-0 and we still almost brought it back. So I couldn't have been more happy about our effort on stage. The SSG series, we watched it back immediately after before our phase series. It was 100% us just making awful mistakes that we worked out of our playstyle months ago. But the land pressure brought back basic mistakes that we normally would never make that really impacted our play. And we were falling back on really old habits that really negatively impacted our play. So basically I was just telling the guys to just focus on our own comms, try not to look around because once you start wandering your eyes a little bit, you can kind of get lost in that. We got FaZe taking on version one. One team going home, one moving forward. We sure it's not scripted? I think that it might be because V1, <laughs> V1 have won both of the game sevens. They played this split. FaZe have won none of theirs. They're zero and three in game sevens. V1 are two and oh. Everything is pointing towards a V1 win here, but FaZe didn't actually follow the scripts earlier on. They're making incredible saves. Well, we're here. Game seven on Champions Field, brought to you by Lamborghini. We are underway. Beast mode avoids one bump. Able to grab the boost, but he's lost oh, the ball. Open. It's an open net, easy goal for first killer. If you want not following it up and comes down, was fast enough. Oh! Go! Not going to need any help on that play. Oh, that's oh, 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 that's oh, oh, AJ. Oh! Phase strategy, sitting back, looking for the counters. Useless when you're down this late in the game. They need a goal to stay alive in the series. Surely, oh! there it is. With 23 seconds left, 
Game 7 overtime is on the table. Beast Mode the whole way back has to protect the rock, and he does. We go to overtime. A goal will send you home or send you forward. Which will it be? Pulled up. Pass in front. Where's the shot? Coming up high. Torment barely gets the touch out. The rebound. The pass in front. Losing sucks, it always will. It doesn't matter if you get second or if you get 16th, but we know there's definitely some good we can take from this. It definitely feels like we made it further than a lot of people anticipated and we've set ourselves up well for the future. You know, finishing top six was definitely not, not to, nothing to be ashamed of, especially together. It's a first land and me and Colin's first land. It's just all around a good thing to you know, accomplish. I know because it's like, it feels sh because it's like you start in the upper bracket and you're like, one win, you're top three. Yeah. And then one win here, top four. I'm proud of you guys. You guys put in a lot of hard work with scrims and bot review. Like, you guys take it seriously. Like, put in perspective, top six at the end of the day is fucking massive. Overall, I've, I'm more than happy with the guys. I'm proud of them. It's a completely different environment. You're playing in front of a lot of people. There's a lot of pressure on you to perform. We're already talking about what we can do better, how we're going to get better and already looking forward to the London major and hopefully getting even better than a top six there. We know we definitely have the talent and the skill and we definitely know we have the work ethic to improve upon it.